Hello, my name is Robert Lenti. I'm the founder of the Vocalist Studio International and the producer and author of a best-selling vocal training program called The Four Pillars of Singing um, and Training Techniques and Methodology that helps singers like you learn how to train to become stronger and more coordinated every day around the world to sing better to expand your range, bridge the passaggio, and do all the things that we all want to do as singers. And this video is titled, What is Vocal Twang? I'm going to talk about the physical vocal mode twang and um, fill you guys in on that and tell you why it's important and what are some of the characteristics that identify or characterize the mode vocal twang. Vocal twang is the probably, probably, the most important vocal mode that you need to understand for sure and train for singing. Now, it's not the only physical vocal mode that we are concerned about in singing, in training. There are others that, that we deal with that are important as well. But if I had to make a choice, um, and part of my message to you guys to help you out, I would say that vocal twang is the most important. Why is that? Vocal twang is the most important physical vocal mode because of all of the benefits that it gives to your voice that are so important and fundamental to great singing. The first benefit that vocal twang does for your voice is it, it amplifies the sound of your voice. It literally amplifies a 2000 to 38 kilohertz frequency Ma now, of course, I'm twanging in that sound, and when I'm twanging, I'm getting a nice amplification. It makes me louder and easier to hear, makes an audience um, um, more receptive to my sound, and if I'm recording, it tracks better on recording as well. Vocal twang also helps engage vocal fold adduction. When you twang, um, uh, when you twang, it, it, it brings the vocal folds together. So those of you that are beginners or those of you that are having a problem removing the wind from your singing, um, those of you that are having a problem uh, not, not having wind in your voice when you're near your vocal break or into your head voice, well, if you understood the vocal twang and you understood certain techniques to train it and build it, you would then build a little bit more compression, the ability to bring your vocal folds together um, more readily. You get command and control of your vocal fold compression and vocal twang is great for that. It's not the only thing that contributes to good vocal fold compression, but it is certainly one of the things that contributes to vocal fold compression. Vocal twang also, because when you twang, it engages a chain reaction of little tiny muscles inside. When you twang, ah, it, it has an additional sympathetic benefit of stabilizing or anchoring the larynx or anchoring that configuration. So, when we twang, hey, whoa, right? When I'm twanging, it helps stabilize or anchor my larynx through the passaggio, through the hard part, and into my head voice. Vocal twang helps you to stop breaking. It helps your voice to stop uh, chirping and 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 producing results that are characterized by instability all right now vocal twang is a a a coordination and a a, a technique that you can build through certain training in particular with the vocalist studio and our training program, the four pillars of singing, the way you would build vocal twang strength and coordination and skills would be one through 
Uh, buzzing or training nasal consonants. Now, that might sound a little strange, but basically doing this. I'm way oversimplifying, by the way, but, um, and if, if you get the program, it'll all explain it in, in, in a lot more detail. But this is buzzing on a nasal consonant. My nasal consonant is an M or an N or an NG. Those are all the nasal consonants. If I buzz on those nasal consonants, and don't hum it, buzz it. If you do that, you are twanging on the inside, and it's a good way to get some light, some light uh, uh, twang like compression, buzzing on nasal consonants. If you need more coaching on that, just send me an email, get the program, or we'll, we'll talk about that. Another way to get good twang strength and coordination going is through training of the TVS onsets. In this program, we train eight specialized onsets. And those of you that don't understand what onset means, it just simply means the start, the beginning. Okay? Um, this is an onset. Me! That's it. It's just the beginning of how I train or how I sing. And if the beginning is good, then the training or singing that follows will be good. If the beginning, on the other hand, is bad, if there's a problem with it, maybe my pitch is off or my embouchure is not right or I'm not twanging, I'm not getting con good compression. If something in my onset isn't quite right, then the training or the singing that follows won't be quite right. So in TVS, in our methodology, we make a big deal about training learning and understanding these eight specialized onsets because when you understand these specialized onsets you can then isolate and focus on certain musculature movements coordination and troubleshoot problems now i'm digressing a bit but getting back to twang if you understand the tvs onsets in that group of specialized techniques there are a several onsets that help you to build vocal twang strength and coordination. All right. And last but not least, a technique or information that you should know that can help you build vocal twang and get that good strong compression and stability in your voice and amplify better is to sing or learn how to modify your voice towards what we call at TVS in the vocal training program, edging vowels, edging vowels. Edging vowels are um, a family of vowels that resonate forward in the hard palate. Vowels like a, a, e, all resonate forward in the hard palate. And when you're training, the vocal content or doing onsets followed by sirens into edging vowels. When you're training edging vowels, you are engaging the twanger. You're engaging good twang compression. All right? So buzzing on nasal consonants, um, understanding and training certain specialized onsets that you can learn about in the program, and training forward resonant vowels that we call edging vowels in TVS are all great ways to encourage the body to learn how to twang better and get stronger for twang as well. Now, um, uh, the physiology characteristics of twang, real quick, a bit about the science and then I'll let you guys go. Vocal twang is characterized by a tilting of the thyroid cartilage. Now, we're gonna cut away right now to a picture all right, and in this picture, you will see that the graphic that shows the larynx tilted, that is a tilted thyroid cartilage. And when you tilt the thyroid cartilage, it creates a chain reaction. 
namely the epiglottis comes down and the epiglottic funnel narrows. The red funnel looking figure in this graphic represents the epiglottic funnel. This doesn't really exist in your vocal track. It's just representing the sound energy. When we twang, it tilts the thyroid cartilage and that creates a chain reaction which narrows the vocal track. Narrows the vocal track or the epiglottic funnel and it's that narrowing of the upper vocal track that gives us that 2000 to 38 kilohertz frequency amplification. It's that narrowing of the vocal track and movement of the tilted thyroid cartilage that gives us the added compression of the vocal folds and um, all the other benefits that come with twang. So those of you that are science nerds, ho hopefully that'll help explain a, li a little bit. And again, as you can see, all of these illustrations that explain this are in the program, The Four Pillars of Singing. And if you have any questions about this program, um, be sure to send me an email and, and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. Uh, the program currently enjoys, after six years of being on the market, almost a perfect score. There are 250 five-star reviews of this comprehensive training program. It is the most comprehensive, best training program for vocal technique training in the world today. And I can truly say that with confidence. It's not just biased because it's my program. It's really that good. Read the reviews and uh, learn what other people are saying about it. And I'm excited to share it with you so that you can learn to twang and sing better and everything else that's in the program. Have a good day and um, be sure to subscribe.